Talking to me? Hey Lemon! Guess what? I'm not a lemon, I'm an etrog. Ha ha ha! Hey Lemon! You look bumpy! I'm not a lemon, I'm an etrog. Hey Lemon! Lemon! I'm an etrog. I'm a kumquat. <laughs> lemon! Guess what? What? It's Tubish Vat! <laughs> what? Tubish Vat! What's Tubish Vat? I thought you were a Juman! I'm strictly for Passover. Your first Sukkot. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> hey Apple. Hey Apple. Hey Apple. What's to be shvat? Dude, uh, it's so hot out here. Uh, I'm baking. Why don't you ask Gefilte fish, man? Hey, Gefilte fish. Gefilte fish. Gefilte fish, where you at, man? Gefilte fish isn't a fruit. What would he know about Tubishvat? I'm a kumquat. <laughs> Are we all excited for the New Year's guy? What? What? <laughs> New Year's! <laughs> what you talking about, New Year's man? Tubishvat is not just New Year's. It's the New Year of the tree. Hey, banana man, what you doing up in that tree? I'm here to tell you about Tubishvat. Tubishvat originates from the 15th of Shvat, and it's the harvest holiday for the Jewish people. We plant trees, eat fruit, and spread awareness about environmental issues. Uh, I, I feel so at one with Mother Earth. Shalom, my friends, and Tubishvat Sameach. Happy Tubishvat from here in the Golan Heights in northern Israel near the border with Syria. Tubishvat is an amazing holiday where we celebrate nature. And specifically, we celebrate the trees. And it's very interesting. It's called the birthday of the trees or the new year of the trees. And it's very, very interesting because you look at the trees now in the dead of winter and you think, why is now the new year? You'd think the new year, the birthday of the trees would be when the fruits come out or when the flowers bloom. But that isn't the new year. The new year of the trees is when the process all begins. After the winter rains, the sap from the trees. Now, on the 15th of the month of Shvat, the sap begins to come up through the roots, through the bark, and that begins the life process that eventually will turn into beautiful flowers and delicious fruit to eat. And so in a way, we're celebrating now the beginning of the process, the awakening in the dead of winter. And I think there's a lot of spiritual messages that we could learn from this also. That even in the dead of winter, this is when the trees are having an awakening. That even in the darkest times in our lives, there is hope. It's possible precisely during the darkest times in our life where we could get the beginning of strength through prayer to God, through work, spiritual work. special day here in the issue with no traffic. We're trying to get the people to walk by foot 
and everybody who will come by foot here to the center of the shul, to the ganim, to the kindergarten, to the day center, to the grocery store, will get a present, a small token of appreciation for his efforts of walking and not taking the car. In addition, we also decided to make a green fair, an ecological fair, and as you can see all around me, there are stands here of people that came from many places who are selling only green merchandise. The holiday of Tu Bishvat is actually a festival. It's a Chag in Judaism. It's not the Jewish Arbor Day. Arbor Day is um, a secular holiday that was introduced uh, in the United States and made a national holiday. And it's a day filled with uh, recognition of trees, um, hugging a tree, uh, having a picnic outside uh, with bands, marching bands, school bands, pageantry, um, speeches, really this sense of just a moment of recognizing trees. I think it's wonderful. I think actually it should be done in every community. It's very much community building. And you can see from the way that it's traditionally practiced, that it is community building, that this is about getting the neighborhoods together in order to recognize the beauty of the trees around them and that you plant a tree traditionally on Arbor Day. Well, you plant a tree traditionally on Tu Bishvat as well, but I think that's about where it ends. Because Arbor Day is very much a secular holiday and Tu Bishvat is very much a religious holiday. years ago, here in Spat, Kabbalists decided that they wanted to truly celebrate this day. And they started having Tu Bishvat Seders, like a Passover Seder. They would have these big meals and conversations about the meaning of these different fruits, what wisdom they have to teach us. People it's like, we're going to make a holiday about that. Like, what? You have no, like, are you missing holidays? Do you still have enough holidays? Yes! Because that's the kind of people we used to be. We're not tree people anymore. Now we have the luxury of being able to go back and reclaim this nature connection that we had to Judaism. If you live in Israel, you see that this is the middle of winter. And why would you celebrate the birthday of the trees or the, or the holiday of the trees on, when they're naked? So the interesting thing that the Talmud says is that what you celebrate in Tu Bishvat is the beginning of the inner, most secret growth. Mm -hmm.